So here we are at the grand entryway to the Samsung booth for CES 2015, where the theme is the Internet of Things. And what you see behind me is a wall of our flagship TV this year, the SUHD. This is going to be our 9500 series TV, which is going to be the best of the best and implement a lot of cool new technologies. So let's go on in and take a quick look. So here we are with the 88 inch JS9500. 88 inches is the largest size we are currently showing this TV in. Now, when I say it's an SUHD, we all know what UHD means. That's gonna provide us four times the resolution of high definition or 1080p. With the S in front of it, S for Samsung means top of the line. It's the flagship, the best of the best. And this is certainly no exception. The new part of this TV and what's gonna make it very exciting is a technology based on nano crystals that's part of the display. Now, what the user is going to benefit from with this is an expanded color gamut. We're going from a Rec. 709 standard, which is what conventional TV does, to something called DCI P3 formatting. And what that's going to do is provide 64 times the amount of color expression we've gotten out of standard TVs. So you're going to see blues you've never seen, reds, greens, and loads of other colors in a lifelike form that we've never experienced before. We are also able to do something called HDR, or high dynamic range. And what we're getting out of this is brightness we've never seen before. So we're able to go two and a half times brighter than we can on conventional TV, all while, all while maintaining very impressive and true black levels. So it's really gonna be a viewing experience like we've never had. Now if we wanna see how this compares to other TV technologies or the evolution of TV over time, we're gonna take a quick little walk right down here. Stand at the sun. <laughs> <laughs> so step on up this way. <laughs> so Samsung's been the leader in TV technologies for years. We've done all of them very, very well. And you can see here all the different styles. You've got LED, which was known for brightness. You've got plasma, which was known for contrast, which is the discrepancy between black and white. Up here in the corner you have OLED, which is known for its impressive black levels. On the bottom, wide color LED sort of speaks for itself, just the ability to produce a wider range of colors. And in the middle, we have an SUHD. Now you take all the best things that those four technologies were able to do, put them into one TV and make them even better, and that's what you get out of the SUHD. You can see the black levels as they compare to OLED, the colors and how they pop more than you get with a wide color LED, and then certainly the contrast as it compares to plasma. Like I said, S means flagship, best of the best, and that's what you're getting out of this JS9500 series and our other SUHD lineup of TVs. So going down the wall right here, we're gonna sort of break these out one by one and all the highlights that I've spoken of, you're gonna see it and how it compares on the SUHD curve panel versus just a traditional flat panel UHD. Right here, you're looking at that high dynamic range, that brightness and how those lights just pop and how you're able to see when the flashes of lightning come by, streaks of light in the streaks of light versus on the other side. Right here you see how many more stars can you see on the top with that high dynamic range versus down here where it's just a little bit darker and there's some detail that you're missing. The brightness really is impressive at two and a half times conventional TV when we're talking about the SUHD lineup. And again, this is all based on a proprietary uh, technology Samsung has developed called liquid, um, not liquid, but nano crystal display. Moving on down, we'll take a look at the color comparison. And again, we're producing 64 times the amount of expression when it comes to color in an SUHD panel versus what we have with the traditional TV. And if we want to put that in terms of numbers, we're going from the production of roughly 16 to 17 million colors to over a billion colors that we're capable of producing with the DCI-P3 formatting. All right, come on down this way. And lastly right here, we're gonna take a look at two different things. One being detail, and this is talking more about producing 
resolution. All right, so these are both UHD, which is going to have a resolution format of 3840 by 2160, but just how much more we're able to get in terms of detail using the nano crystals and all the additional color and brightness that we're getting out of it. And then lastly right here, this is going to be comparing curved panel to flat panel. We introduced curved panel last year. And what the viewer can expect out of curved panel is what we call a more immersive viewing experience. It's going to be more theatrical, more like you're watching a movie. Your eyes are able to adapt more of what's happening around the screen. So you're not losing information on the left and right. You just you have a wider field of view and everything really comes into play and looks more lifelike. So let's take a look over here at something that's truly remarkable. This is a CES 2015 Best of Innovation Award winner. This is 105 inches of bendable SUHD. And when I say bendable, this is the TV where you have the person who can't decide whether they want to watch flat or curved. This is giving you the option to do both because the TV can transform from a flat panel to a curved panel all with the touch of a button. Another thing unique about this TV is it's also got a wider aspect ratio. It goes from 16 by 9, which is traditional, to a 21 by 9 panoramic view. Now we're able to play any content on this TV due to the panoramic stretch algorithm, which is going to take content, stretch it from the middle outwards, and what happens is the further you get out to the sides, the algorithm begins to taper off. So you're able to keep a uniform view across the entire field of the screen. You can see right there, we're going back and forth, and this is literally one touch of a button that's giving us the flat to bendable, uh, flat to curved option. And now you have your curved form factor that's going to provide you with that more immersive feel than we get when it's flat. Truly customizing your viewing experience. So we're going to come on down this way and we're going to talk about our new smart solution for 2015 which is going to be based on our new platform called Tizen. Follow me down here. So in 2015, we were really excited to introduce our new uh, smart OS called Tizen. Tizen is an open source platform, meaning that developers from all over will be able to develop content that will be able to adapt into the smart platform. And the user experience is really going to be expanded upon. There's going to be more choices than ever before in terms of content, in terms of entertainment, in terms of connecting devices, which we call convergence, where I can go from sharing content from my phone to my TV, back from my TV back to my phone. It's gotten easier than ever before. We've been doing this for a while, and it's been uh, a little bit of a process to get something from your TV to your phone. Now I can literally do it all with one click. But in terms of the overall interface, we've gone from a very wide five panel layout where things were separated into specific categories. Now we have them all in one nice, easy, easy to navigate, very responsive, whoops, area. I can go in and out of what I've done recently from apps to streaming to live TV and one of the nice things now is instead of having to have something open, close it out and then go find something else and open it back up, I can toggle between different selections almost seamlessly and in no time at all. I also have a featured section, so if I'm looking for something new, I can go right in here and I can find recommendations based on what's popular and what's being used across a smart TV platform. If I'm looking for apps, no problem. Any of the apps that we've had from over the past few years have been able to port into the Tizen platform with no loss at all. So it's all still there, all my entertainment selections, my streaming services, any of the games that I've wanted to play from the past, right here in the new smart platform.